I was actually a member of the cathedral when I first moved to Chicago, and from the moment I came here, I wished that this was more visible. People would come and sit outside and eat, but we didn't have tables and chairs for them, so I'm very excited about making this area a symbol for what we're already doing in the diocese, and it starts to become known on the street as a place where church is happening. The renovation of the commons will bust open the doors of this place. I see it really as a critical piece of the ongoing mission and ministry of the whole Diocese of Chicago. It's the place where we train clergy to be effective leaders in local congregations. It's the place where we celebrate major events in the life of the diocese. It's the place where we interface in a very, very public way here in the heart of the third largest city in the country with people who may or may not know a thing about the Episcopal Church. And this place is a tool uh, for building those relationships. Well, this project is so exciting because this is the embodiment in steel and concrete and art of what we say we want to be. And it's about extending our reach literally out from this building to the sidewalk and just inviting people in and, and saying that you're already here and we want to make this space the best space we can for engaging you. We have the opportunity to make a statement about what every Episcopal Church in the world proclaims. The Episcopal Church welcomes you. Here, in the heart of uh, this great city, in the heart of this diocese of Chicago, that welcome has been a little muted. People need a place to come, people need a place to belong, they need a place to just feel like it's their own and no price of entry. If you're a, a human being, we want you to be part of our community. Seeing St. James Common, seeing the location of the cathedral and the, the diocese in the city of Chicago and what it can offer, um, it's just very attractive and exciting. With Jeffrey's leadership, it's going to tie everybody together and it's going to be absolutely great. It's something worthwhile. And I think there's going to be a lot more activities here at the diocese for the people. There's going to be more bonding with the churches uh, so that everybody, that this is the home where they want to come to. I think a lot of times people can look at projects as being just beautification. But Bishop Lee has really cast it in a much more significant way. He's showing ways that he's capturing that vision. It's not just, well, we'll do this and then you'll see. We're already seeing great examples of the way in which the diocese is reimagining itself to help all of us grow in our faith and how we can and should be intersecting with one another. We're in a process of rebuilding in many ways. So it's no accident that we're doing this work at the same time that we are trying to rebuild some connections across the diocese. It helps us to say to folks who may never have come down here, or who feel like, well, this is not really their space, that, oh yeah, this is your space. The Episcopal Church has so much to offer. How do we let people know it's here? I have a wonderful parish on a quiet corner in Hyde Park that not very many people walk by, but here downtown, people are walking by all the time. People that live in Hyde Park and work downtown. And I'd love for more people to know what the Episcopal Church has to offer. And I think St. James Commons will be a very public place where thousands and thousands of people can, can see and experience that openness and hospitality. I've come to understand that when I go to a parish, I'm really there to remind uh, people in every congregation I visit that they're part of something much larger. We're part of a network. We're all in this together. This building is a permanent witness to that reality. It's about identity. And a year from now, when we're done with this project and the doors are flung wide open, we're hoping that all of the talk we do around radical hospitality and around true welcome, regardless of age, class, gender, color, sexual orientation, all of that, well, people will be able to see it and experience that we mean it.